Hey, it's Robert. Today, on this old Suzuki, it's a 1974 GT250, I'm going to be replacing the uh, mechanical points with an electronic ignition. It's made by Neutronic. I uh, picked this up on the internet at uh, about 200 bucks. I figured I'd walk y'all through on how to do this because it's kind of confusing. And uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, here are the components that come out of the box. Here's the electrical unit that actually takes the pulse and converts it into electrical spark. In other words, a trigger. Here is the, this is going to replace the mechanical breaker cams. These are uh, photo eyes. And this is the cam that uh, breaks the light beam. Some electrical connectors, some screws and shims. That's it. I'm going to take this second here to show you all the original uh, breaker assembly. These are the points that open and close that uh, will send your spark to the primary coil. Sends to a spark plug, just a brief theory. And here are the condensers. These will take the energy current and store it briefly and then release it real quickly for a high impulse spark. So uh, this cam's getting replaced here that opens these points. You'll have the photo eye here. And that's about it. The original timing mark is gonna be in here. What it'll say is a little L with a line and that is actually not top dead center but the point at which the spark or the point should open if you're tuning up one of these old ones the mechanical points that's where it should open and the R of course is the right side and this is the left side it corresponds with the uh, spark plug the alternated casing here has to come off in order to get this breaker cam off which should come off yep there it is uh, take note on there there's a little pin that pin is going to be locating it inside this shaft so we'll take note of that when you put the new cam in that it goes like that uh, the instructions say it's okay to go ahead and put this casing back on, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, these screws on the outer side are real tough. I uh, always use one of these tools whenever I'm working on these bikes because you get these out the first time, you save the screw head, saves you a lot of time. If you don't have one of these, I'd pick one up. They're awesome. Okay, here's the new breaker cam installed. You see that the T is going to line up with the R through the hole. Uh, take note, of course, of those pins that line in. It's a little tricky. There's uh, Make sure that the pin seat in the back this plate goes on, there's two pins that that guide's on, T's got to be showing, bolt it up. All right, this here is a prime example of why I'm making this video to help uh, people put this kit in because uh, the directions say to put this cam in first, but there's no way that you can get these photo eyes and backing plates installed with that in. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on and later put that cam in. There's another issue with the kit, it comes with screws, but it doesn't have washers. So I use the old washers off of my uh, breaker assembly because these will keep the bolt from protruding into that plate and always check things make sure that they spin free the I noticed first time I tightened it up this was actually going into that keeping the engine from turning over these shims you'll pick out the right shim in your kit to get this eye the correct distance away from that rotating breaker the shim has to be modified you just sand a little bit off this back corner that way you can get that screw in and clear up and everything should work fine all right Got this section installed. Uh, what you can do is to see if the timing's close, just turn your ignition switch on, and then uh, there'll be a light on the box. And according to which is open, I'm going to turn the kickstand here, see it change to that side. This arrow here, the light beam will just as it just clears will change that switch, so you can tell relatively close to where you are. The next step is going to be run your wiring. We're going to mine up through the bike, up through here, into that main connector where the coil used to be. Uh, I did have to make a Y because they didn't supply one with the kit that supplies power to both coils. If you use the diagram, it actually shows four uh, orange connectors, but it only comes with two, so you have to make a couple extra. Just made a little, little Y. Plug that in there. We'll see how it does. Mounted the electronic unit inside this cover here. Got my wire connector so I could remove the cover if I needed to. And got my tank back on. Let's go fire it up. Alright, get the bike outside. Got it hooked up with the uh, timing light. Uh, this, I don't know how well this is going to work with the camera, but we'll, we'll see here. I'm going to start it up. I know you definitely won't be able to hear me, but uh, I'm going to point out where the mark is and that you should line it up with this other hash mark. Do it for both sides and that's it. 